Let's say we were designing some software to be able to solve Sudoku puzzles. When we constructed the board, it might become necessary for us to be able to identify all the cells in the Sudoku game. One such numbering is shown here. We've numbered the cells from left to right and from top to bottom, just as you would read a book. The 81 squares are therefore represented by the indexes 0 to 80. Furthermore, we may want to take several groups of these squares and put them into different color arrangements like this. And the ones shown here are in group 0. This is group 1, group 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. In our code, there might be times when we are given a cell number, for example, 38, and want to know what group it is. In this case, the answer would be 0, 1, 2, 3. Alternatively, there might be times when we give a group number, such as a group 1, and we want to know all the indices of all the cells that are in that group. So for group 1, that would be 3, 4, 5, 12, 13, 14, 21, 22, and 23. How could we write methods to convert from cell to group and from group to cells? Well, if you're unfamiliar with the concept of hashing, you might be tempted to come up with some complicated mathematical equations to create these methods. Or even worse, you might put together a long string of complicated if-else statements to figure out how to translate these numbers from one to another. But a much better and more efficient way to do this is with data particularly by using a hash map to construct data that will allow us to convert from one group number to another. Let's have a look at that for a second. To start off with, we've imported the map interface as well as the hash map and array classes from the standard Java utility library. We've shown two examples of hash maps here. The first one allows the user to be able to specify an integer that represents a cell number, and then the hash map returns what group it belongs to. In the second example, we go the other way. Given a group number, we are able to identify all the cell numbers that belong to that group. Check out the main program that provides examples of each of these. Let's say we wanted to know what group number cell number 41 belongs to. That's the cell shown highlighted here. We see that the answer should be 4. Likewise, if we wanted to know all the cells that belong to group 0, the answer should be 0, 1, 2, 9, 10, 11, 18, 19, and 20. Let's run this program now and see if it works. Here are the results and you can see that the program works extremely well. You may be confused about this arrays.asList method call right here. We've only used this because this group to index get 0 returns an array and arrays in Java don't know how to print themselves. So we've converted it to an array list here so that the print line statement will know how to print it. Even though there's a significant amount of data here needed to convert from group numbers to cell numbers and from cell numbers to group numbers, it's usually much easier to debug data than it is to debug complicated code. Therefore, when you're creating conversions from one number to another or from a string to a number, or from one group to another group, consider using hash maps instead of complicated if statements to implement the conversion methods.